Choosing a tablet is getting harder and harder these days, but T-Mobile thinks they've got the perfect choice, the G Slate from LG. It's got an 8.9-inch multi-touch screen running on Android 3.0 for Google's best tablet experience. And it even has dual rear-facing cameras for 3D video recording. Also included is a front-facing camera, 32 gigs of storage, and 4G capability for 530 bucks with a contract. Okay, from the front, it looks like the G Slate. Oh, oh, someone's on her way. <laughs> someone's on her way to Trader Joe's. Watch out. <laughs> it looks like the G Slate is going for that iPad look. It's smaller than the iPad 2, but it's definitely heavier. Yeah, so, how does this rate uh, in the looks department for you? Um, I think it's all right. Uh, I wouldn't kick her out of bed. Uh, here, there we go. Now that she's on. Go ahead. Do you want to hold her? No, you no? can hold her. Well, can here's the thing. I, I wish it were a little lighter. Uh, otherwise, yeah. the design is nice. It, it, it does feel a little heavy in this old day and age. Uh, the 9 inch screen is sharp and very bright. One small complaint, though. It has slots for micro USB and HDMI, but there's actually a proprietary charging hole right there. Uh, so you can charge it. Yeah, this tiny little guy right there. The old chili hole. You can charge it via USB, but it's gonna take it's gonna take a day to fully charge this thing through USB, which is crazy. A long so, time. So you got to carry around that cord if you want, and then the extra cord to, to actually charge it in a decent amount of time. Okay, now what Little about the there. interface? Interface is great. I mean, it's standard Android Honeycomb, which is the version of Android that's made specifically for tablets. It looks and acts just like the Motorola Zoom tablet that we reviewed a few weeks back. Mm -hmm. um, web browsing is just as good as any Android tablet, and this one has Flash support, which is great. And it it actually nice. churns through Flash pretty well. I had Pink Lab up and running and was able oh, to, to browse a yeah, handful of the, you the stuff. That earlier. Yeah. Oh, so gross. The G Slate has the same dual core 1 gigahertz Tegra 2 processor that the Zoom has. So how does it perform? Uh, Stop chuckling at yourself. It's, <laughs> it was, it's bittersweet because I know that's, that's so the one funny. time I'll be able to mention it until like SMP kills it from here on out. So at least I got my one in. Um, it's pretty fast. The Tegra 2 is now a requirement for many of the newest apps in the Android markets. And it's nice to buy a tablet and not have to worry about whether it can run something. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a terrible feeling to get a brand new device and go, oh, it chugs with this game. Yeah. Uh, and here you can see we loaded up some processor intensive games. That's QWERTY running on the old G Slate. And it ran it with only a couple stutters, which was nice. Now let's get to the big selling point. Let's do First, it. First, 4G wireless. Mm -hmm. Is it worth it? Definitely, sort of. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. A Here's the thing. If it's available in your area and you can afford it, <laughs> get it. The 4G service from T-Mobile is blazing fast. Um, as fast, sometimes even faster than Wi-Fi. Oh. So kudos to that. Um, but good luck, you know, affording rent after you sign up for it. We'll get to that in a second. Okay, now the other selling point, it has a 3D video camera. Whoa. Does anyone really need a 3D camera? When you're watching future movies, yes. Love these um, glasses. No one needs a 3D camera. It is a neat trick for it to have. Um, the videos can be recorded and viewed with the cheap red and blue hipster glasses. Um, but if you have a better 3D television and the shutter glasses, you can view them that way and, and plug it into HDMI. I mean, it looks okay, but it's not like... I'm sure commercials will tout this as the only tablet with 3D, but you don't need to be a tablet with 3D yet. Okay. So, there you have it. Yeah, I like mine better. You yeah. look kind of goofy. What? Are you what? <laughs> All right, let's talk price. How much is it? Uh, here, here's where things really fall apart. Without a contract, you're going to be shelling out 750 bucks. That's wow, 150 dollars more than the 32 gig iPad 2. Now, if you sign up for a two-year contract, it's 530 bucks. But here's the thing. It's going to cost you $30 a month for the 200 meg 4G plan and $50 a month for the 5 gig plan. Now, some of these games are well over a gig to download. So if you download a, a game or two and a couple songs here and stream a YouTube video there, or you're money. visiting the old P-Lab, you're going to run out of bandwidth in no time, and that's ridiculous. Oh, Kevin, what are we rating it? Three out of five. Um, I, think it's, it's, I think it's great hardware that's crippled with, uh, with pretty pretty poor agreements. Uh, they really need to get the price Agreed. down. It's a great tablet, but at this price, you have to decide if you want to spend more one. for an Android tablet or just go with the iPad, too. All right, folks. <laughs> that was migraine-inducing. We no, I'm not. Uh, that's it for today's Gadgetpron. But if you, have a ga if you have a gadget you'd like to see us, rate, email us at gadgetpron at g4tv.com. <laughs>